So we're making you meet Angel Poku, who says she's saving all she can for a future in the world of animation. She spoke with Odile Antiamwa. I am at the Leroy School to meet a 13-year-old artist. Drawing Japanese dolls and listening to Japanese music began at 12 years, and so far it has paid off. Angel Poku has been commissioned by clients abroad to make different dolls. If you do it listening to Japanese music, exactly how does that help in anything? Um, actually, not, it's not only Japanese music that I listen to. It can be any type of music. Sometimes I don't even have to listen to music to actually draw. But, um, yeah, it's not only music that I listen to. Sometimes I can just join a quiet place and, yeah. That's... When, when did you start drawing? I started drawing around last year in February. Um, I saw some pictures online and I was like, okay, I can also do that. So I started like redrawing every picture that I come across and I had a book and I kept all of them and I showed them to my mom. $44 has so far been paid by some international firms for specific work to be done for them. How did it happen? Um, uh, over the vacation around uh, earlier this year, I think July, um, I was at home after my exams and I thought of a way I could make money whilst I was at home. So I told my dad and my mom that, okay, I've seen other people do this. They draw for people and they earn and they make a living out of it. So why can't I also do that? So there was a website that I had joined not too long ago. And I realized that that's uh, one of the main websites that people use in order to get commission. So I also like set up a list of uh, things I can do, the prices and everything, and I set it up. It wasn't going well, like for the f uh, first few weeks, but I, uh, a person came along and uh, actually asked me to commission them. And so far, I've had three people commission me. So I asked Angel why Japanese dolls when she is Ghanaian. The reason why I chose Japanese cartoon is because, like, for some reason, they pick my interest. So. And they are more, to me, they are more interesting than a lot of cartoons. So that's why I decided to go with Japanese cartoons. Does it mean you like Japanese movies? Mm, not really. <laughs> Is that not strange? Yeah. So exactly what do you draw and how do you put it together? Um, most of the time I like to draw girls. And I have a drawing tablet which I use. So first I sketch it, I outline it and I colour it. Her clients describe the character they would like to see, then Angel puts it together into a drawing. So they send me like an image of how they look like, the clothes they wear and everything. And they tell me that okay, I can want you to do this in this pose or maybe you can be free with it and do it however however you want. So when they send me an image, I sketch, usually sketch it out. And with a sketch, I show it to them. If there's anything that they want me to change about it, like even if it's a slight change, I can change it before I start outline, out, outlining it. Already, the 13-year-old sees art as a business, but tools can be expensive. So she's saving her first three commission work towards it. Um, I'm saving it now. I've not yet used it. I'm saving it until it reaches a certain amount before I use it. Okay, so what would you probably use it for? Um, I'll probably use it for, like, to get more tools for my drawing and to help me like, expand my drawing. But her grandfather, a former minister, Kwame Nabatels, has made some substantial investments already. Her best friend and teachers think she needs all the support to go international. It's recognized among the Western cultures and some people say when you go into art, you won't get anything. But in my view, it can produce a lot of future results. Any time that she has a free period, you will see her drawing and when she draws you will see that yes this is very nice sometimes when some people gather she can draw them sometimes our expectation 
we do not give the kids ample time to be able to express themselves. Now, right from day one, you have set it out for the child that I want you to be a medical doctor. But here is a child who has a hidden talent in the field of drawing, okay, becoming an artist. Do you say that, look, I want you to be a medical doctor, and even if the child can just not cope with that pressure, Within 15 minutes, Angel draws a Japanese doll. It goes straight onto the internet where she's likely to get a client. On the internet, she gets other international artists and some locals giving comments where Angel indicates she learns a lot from. Um, usually, I get comments like, um, great job, um, keep up the good work and keep posting your art. Mm -hmm. But um, sometimes we also get uh, critiques from more experienced artists that are like, showing me things I could have done better in my drawings. Here, she shows me the work she was commissioned by the international clients to do. Linda Poku is her mother, and she tells the team Angel's talent is hereditary. It was more genetic, so we were not surprised. Her, she has two or three uncles on her father's side who are all artists. So when she started drawing, it was more of, at first, all we did was hand her over to one of our uncles, the one in Ghana. And we said, look at what your, your niece is doing, just like you. So, so he gave her her first tablet and showed her. He would come here and the two of them would just be together doing their own thing. Mrs. Poku adds the conversation cannot end without recounting when Angel got the first commission. She didn't tell us. She told us after she got the work. And I was like, okay, which website is that? What does it mean? How did they find you? I mean. I was like a whole ton of questions. So her uncle in the US is the one who said, hey, I got a PayPal account for you. Do it and let's see how it turns out and let them put the money in. So she did one. The good thing it was during the vacation. So we're like, okay, this is exciting. You can get money for what you love to do. So she did the first one, did the second one. And unfortunately, I remember an incident where her tablet broke down and she was all nervous because they were putting pressure on her. And I said, that is how it happens. Linda says for her daughter, it's not only about art now. While Angel wants to go into animation in the future, she will have to put her academic work first and take it seriously. Udile Ntiamwa, Joy Business. And that's it. Well, you want to make money from your talent, I guess this is the best feature for you to pick some points from. But just in case you don't know, we upload a lot more of the segments and the videos um, on the various programming, especially on the AM show through or on our YouTube channel. Major Online TV, go search for it on YouTube and uh, you get a lot more uh, introspection into some of the things that we publish here. But uh, that'll be it for AM Business this morning. Please get interactive. Facebook, Journeys on TV and through a handle on Twitter at Journeys on TV.